If you're finding that a lot of shots are lacking power or perhaps you're not making really good contact with the ball or it feels like the club gets to the ball too early, chances are it could be that the movement through your hips is a little bit either out of sync or a bit slow. Hi, I'm Peter Knight. I've created this channel, Peter Knight Golf, to help you play the best golf you can. And today we're looking at hip movement, hip speed, and how it all fits in with the, the golf swing sequence. So if we look at the, the motion of the hips, as I, when I set myself up, I swing back and through, my hips are stationary, they'll gain speed, they'll move toward the target, and then work through. Now it's from the point where I'm changing direction with my hips, I'm talking specifically downswing. From here, as I change direction, my hips are going to accelerate for a short period of time during the swing. So this period is critical. It doesn't mean that I need to, you know, do something that's going to like throw my body out of whack or anything like that, but it just means that there's an appropriate increase in speed with my hips. So what I'm going to do is first of all practice the movement in isolation. So when I swing back, my hips have turned away from the target. Now I've got a small forward movement, just sufficient so that my left leg can become parallel. And then from there, my, my hips will go forward and then I just, from here, I'm just feeling like I'm turning the hips just beyond impact, uh, just beyond square. So from here, turn forward and just beyond square. Now, can I do that a little bit more sharply? So you can see I've got a little bit more speed here. So it's nothing dramatic as far as um, something that I feel like, oh, it's gonna throw my back out or throw my hips out, but it's just generating, generating that bit of speed just at the start there. Now, from this point in the swing, my hips, and I'll show you how it all sequences in a moment, but from this point here, my hips are actually going to slow down anyway. So I don't have to create that movement very long in the swing, but what I have to do is time it correctly. So now if I add in my upper body movement, so from here, I go back to the top of the swing, and again, I've got that feeling of my hips just working a little bit foot toward the target so that my left leg becomes vertical and then I'm, I'm creating some force. Now at the same time that I'm creating this hip speed, the thing that's going to help me to do that is how I apply pressure to the ground through my feet so that as I do this I can feel a big increase in pressure on both feet but predominantly my left foot, my front foot. So from here I'm actually applying pressure to the ground through my left foot to help me create that, um, that little bit of speed for a short time during the swing through my hips. So now if I bring the arms and the club in, I get to the top of the swing, hips will move forward and then turn. So again, I'm creating that, that speed through my hips just for this period through here to get that sense of it. And then I'll just let the club go. And it looks more like a normal golf swing. The, I hope my swing looks like a normal golf swing. But getting that sensation of the, the movement of the hips and having it lead everything else is absolutely critical for getting the entire sequence going. So if I swing the club down and my hips move too slowly, then I'm not going to be able to get the pressure onto my left side. If, if it's too slow, I lose the ability to keep the correct sequence of motion and my upper body and my arms are likely to take over. So if we put that into play with a golf ball, And we look to create that same motion through the, the hips. So watching the swing there, you'll see that my hip movement, it did have some speed in it, but it wasn't like dramatic. The one thing that I didn't try and do is sustain that speed all the way to the end of my swing, because then I will compromise my balance possibly compromise the health of my back as well. So practicing that movement, even going through the smaller steps that are through the beginning of the video there where you're isolating the movement just to that first movement with the hips without worrying about your upper body or your arms or your club and then building on that great build in the, the movement with the upper body then the arms and the club and then with the golf ball, that will actually help the co overall coordination of your movement.